I am Palaka Garwal of Hidayatullah National Law University and currently a legal intern at Lexis and Company. Negligence means a careless act or omission. Negligence is a type of thought where an act of omission of a person has caused injury to the other person. Negligence happens when it misses the legal standard required of a reasonable person in protecting individuals against foreseeable risks or other harmful acts. The essential ingredients of a negligence act are the defendant owed a duty towards the plaintiff, the defendant breached his duty towards the plaintiff and because of the breach of the defendant, the plaintiff suffered an injury. These are the essential ingredients which need to be proved to establish negligence. Duty of care to the plaintiff Duty of care towards the plaintiff implies a legal duty, not a religious or charitable or social duty. There is no law which defines a legal duty. It depends on the fact of each case. For example, there was a case where a friend bought a ginger beer bottle for his other friend. Some of the contents of the beer were poured in a glass and the friend drank the contents. When the drink was poured for the second time, a dead snail floated out along with the ginger beer. The friend said that his health has been severely affected by drinking the ginger bottle which had a snail in it. The bottle wasn't transparent and was covered with a metal cap. So the snail couldn't have been seen. The friend bought an action for negligence against the manufacturer of the ginger beer. However, the manufacturer said that there was no direct relation between the consumer of the ginger beer and him. Therefore, he did not have a duty of care towards the plaintiff. The House of Lords said that the manufacturer was negligent and owed a duty of care towards the plaintiff. The House of Lords further said that person should take care to avoid acts which could be reasonably foreseen. Define neighbor as someone who would be directly affected by the act and omission and whom the person should keep in mind while committing an act or omission. The second essential is breach of duty. Breach of duty occurs only when a need of care of duty has been established. Breach of duty means non-observance of due care which is required in a particular situation. It is the violation of the duty of due care that one is expected to take damages as a result of breach of duty. For a legal action due to negligence, it is important that the plaintiff suffered something because of the negligent act of the defendant. Damage is to be determined in terms of legal injury. Contributory negligence Where the defendant and the plaintiff both were negligent, and the plaintiff has suffered harm due to such negligent act. This is known as contributory negligence. Contributory negligence happens when plaintiff his own want of care contributes to the damages caused by the defendant. To avail the defense of contributory negligence, the defendant has to prove that the plaintiff did not take care of his own safety. His part of the failure was contributing factor to the harm. For example, if a person is walking on the opposite side of the road and is hit by a vehicle coming from the opposite side and is driving very harshly and the plaintiff gets hurt and the defendant can plead that the plaintiff was walking on the wrong side of the road. He wouldn't have been injured if he wasn't walking on the wrong side. Doctrine of last opportunity. This principle is used to determine who was at the fault. The doctrine states that, that one who had the last opportunity to avoid the injury would be responsible for the damages arising out of that injury.